Hello, my name is Paul. I'm from Optolec Enhanced Vision. Welcome to another video. Today I've had pleasure in showing you our 7 inch portable video magnet range. We've got three in our range with our original Compact 7, which is the Optolec branded one. We also have our Amigo HD, which is our Vision Enhanced, Enhanced Vision branded one. And we also have our Ruby 7 HD, which is our Freedom Scientific branded product. All very similar in features, but subtly enough to have some extra features on, uh, on one to compare to the other, which hopefully I'll be able to explain to you. So the original one, our Compact 7, is our longest established uh, video portable magnifier. It is a high definition camera and you have very minimalistic buttons on there. It's a clamshell opening, so as all three are. So you press the bottom button to open the device, like so, and it comes on straight away and you have your camera in focus. All three machines are set to auto focus on whatever you read the material you would put on there. Uh, key layout, all very similar as well. Tactile buttons, you have a plus and a minus key to uh, change your magnification. The Compact Plus will go to 24 times uh, magnification. And your on the other side of the uh, device, you have your contrast, which will go from natural color through uh, various uh, contrast. Black and white, white and black, yellow on black, blue on yellow, yellow on blue, etc. Uh, on that side. It does have a camera button on the top because Obviously, as with cameras, you have the option to freeze, uh, take snapshots and store images on the machine. Built-in LEDs for added illumination as well. So, when the machine is placed on top of your reading material uh, at the angle, it's a preferred angle, so people aren't having to lean over onto the machine, then you can move the machine left and right and up and down on top of the reading material and magnify all the way up to 24 times on this particular machine. So even on the smallest text, we can magnify quite large. So with our Compact 7, it is our heaviest machine. It is all metal construction, so there is some way to that. And again, some people like that, some people don't. For those who don't, we have our Amigo. Very similar, a power button, on the side to turn the machine on and off. And the battery life in all four machines is roughly four hours of continuous use and takes roughly uh, 90 to 120 minutes to do a full recharge. So it also has the same clamshell. With the extra, ben extra benefit on the Amigo, we can open it even wider so for people who want to write underneath there, it's a lot easier to write or work with maybe threading needles and things like that. So it will adjust. Once you turn the machine on, it's instant on. Again, LEDs built into it. Uh, very similar button layout, so you still have your large tactile plus and minus on, on, the, on the left side and your uh, high contrast. And there's also a green folder button, just where I'm tapping there, that is to uh, access your stored images because again, this will allow you to store images. There is a couple of extra switches uh, on the back of the unit, just beneath the LEDs, to change the automatic focus to manual and to have a multifunction save function on, on the other side. It also has USB and mini HDMI, so you can connect the Amigo 7 to a computer monitor, any type of display, TV, smart TV, etc. And the cables, obviously, and all the usual carry cases, etc., are provided with all the machines. But that the Amigo does have that advantage over the Compact 7, as the Compact 7 doesn't have HDMI. So, the same principle again, you're moving it up and down, left and right, and adjusting the magnification to suit your requirements. It's very, very smooth. Constant magnification. The top button where my finger is tapping, that is a tactile joystick button. The whole idea of that is when you've stored an image and then you wish to go into it another time, you can then go uh, click into the folder, go into the image itself and then manoeuvre the image 
across the screen, up and down and left and right, to find a particular part that you're looking for. So, that's our Amigo HD. The last machine is the Ruby 7 HD. This one's personally my favourite uh, because of its features. Again, similar clamshell. The machine turns on via that way. You still get a battery indication light. It still does the exact same thing of being able to magnify your text by moving the machine up and down and changing the plus and minus key to increase or decrease magnification. The red button above that one allows you to freeze the image, store the image, and the blue buttons allow you to change your contrast. So you still have your natural colours, your black and white, white on black, yellow on black, yellow on blue. It also has an extra on off switch, so you can still turn the machine on and off by this or just by closing the clamshell on that side. You still have your power selection and the flashing light to tell, uh, tell you how much battery you have left in there. USB and also a full size HDMI. So the beauty of that one, instead of being a mini HDMI, you actually get a full size HDMI. One of the nicer features I like about this one is actually the pivot cam. So by adjusting the camera, we can use this in, in certainly different envi environments. I'll plug it into the actual screen and turn the screen on to show you what I mean. I'll just turn on the TV here. I'll move those machines out the way. So, yeah. So now you can see on the large screen behind me a duplicate of the Ruby 7 screen. So again, even the smallest N5 text we can increase. Quite significantly. Oops. And change the various contrasts as well. So we can do all that on there. But with the pivot camera, which is the top black camera on there, just switch it back to natural colour, I can turn this up to 180 degrees to the point where it is facing the user. So here at the moment, and if it'll snap into focus, there we go. It's actually looking at the camera we're recording on and I can still zoom in on the camera and see the actual image so it's yeah I'm actually looking at myself looking at myself you can do that and that's useful for features like uh, again first thing in the morning uh, if you're a lady uh, you're, you're checking your face out making putting your makeup on and making sure your hair's okay if you're a gentleman you may be trimming your beard etc yeah with sight impairments it's often things like that looking in the mirror is not that easy thing to do but by using a product like this with a camera and the zoom functions, you can clearly do that by just adjusting the actual camera. Also then you can then click it back and you are straight back to using it as a direct video magnifier in the high contrast modes or whatever you want. You can imagine the scenario of being in a, a train station maybe and you're looking at the timetables and obviously it's over the other side of, of the up high up. You can't clearly use normal magnification because you can't get that close. But by adjusting the camera and using your plus and minus to zoom in on the actual timetable, you've got a much better chance of finding out the information that you wish. So the pivot camera on this is, is quite unique and quite useful. As far as prices go, they are all similarly priced. The Compact 7 is priced at 695 plus VAT. Obviously, for people who are registered blind, they don't have to pay the, pay the VAT, so it's £695. The Enhanced Vision Amigo 7 is £725. And the Ruby 7 HD is priced at £699. At the moment though, as this video has been recorded at any rate, we are doing a special offer on the Ruby 7 and taking uh, £200 off the price. So at the moment, the Ruby 7 HD is priced at £499, £499. So, that's just a basic overview of our three 7-inch portable devices and their subtle differences. If you'd like to know any more information, then you can contact us on the free phone telephone number 080. 8090 8090 that's 080 8090 or online at optelec.co.uk 
Thank you very much for your time.